Welcome back, boys and girls, to another lesson with Ms. Brown. Today, we're going to be looking at the reading strategy, compare and contrast. So what does this reading strategy mean? Well, if you compare things, you show how they are the same. And if you contrast things, you show how they are different. So at this point, I want you to write in your notebooks today's date, the title compare and contrast, and then the definition, a very short definition, observing how two or more things are the same or different. Put me on pause. Okay, and then we're gonna come back. All right, so there are some vocabulary terms that you can use to show how things are the same. To show how things are the same and to show how things are different. Okay, so keywords. These are words we can use if we're going to compare, and these are words we can use if we're going to contrast. So I have two objects here. I have a, an apple, and I have a lemon. All right, so let's first compare the apple and the lemon. Okay, so, well, I know that an apple and a lemon are both fruit. So they are alike because they're both fruit. They also both have seeds. Okay, so these are some words that you can use if you want to compare. Both alike, also similar, the same as well as. Whenever you see those words, something's being compared. All right, so now let's say how they contrast. How are they different? Well, um, first off, they are different because an apple has a stem. A lemon does not have a stem, okay? Um, an apple is smooth while a lemon has rough skin, okay? Um, an apple is sweet. On the other hand, a lemon is sour. All right, so these are some words that we can use to contrast. Different, but, while, on the other hand, however, also. Okay, so now that we have compared and contrasted our two topics, what do we do with this information? Well, with this information, we can put them on something called a Venn diagram. So what is a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram is simply an organizer that helps us to organize and remember and sort out our important bits of information. So I'm going to show you how to create your own Venn diagram. All right, so the first thing you need is something to write with, and we're going to draw two circles, okay? So watch me first. We're going to draw one big circle, taking almost half the page up, and we're going to draw another circle on top of it, overlaying it, overlaying over it. We're going to leave some space in the center. Okay, so as you draw your second circle, make sure that it overlaps, it overlays. All right, so you can put me on pause to do that. And then you'll see that we have three sections. One, two, three. Okay, so let's call this circle over here. This is gonna be the lemon circle, the lemon circle. Okay, if you need to pause me to keep up with the notes, that's fine. And just unpause me. This circle is going to be the apple circle. All right, so in these three sections, we're going to be putting information. Are we going to be comparing or contrasting? So in this center space, this is where we're going to write characteristics that are alike, that are the same with the lemon and the apple. I'm just going to put same. So what did we say about the lemon and the apple that are the same? Well, we said that they both have seeds. They're both fruit. Anything else you can think of? They're both healthy. Both good for you. Okay. In this section, we're going to talk about just the lemon. So just details about the lemon. So what did we say about the lemon? Well, we said the lemon was rough, rough skin. I'll just put rough. We said that the lemon was sour. Okay. And let's look at the shape. This is almost like an oval shape. I'm just gonna put an oval, oval shape. Now in this section, I'm gonna put details and characteristics just of the apple, okay, just of the apple. So what do we say about this apple? Well, unlike the lemon, we said that it has a stem. Okay. 
You can look at the color of the apple. The apple is red. The lemon's not red, the lemon's yellow. And we also said that the skin is very smooth. And we are complete. We completed our task of comparing and contrasting a lemon and an apple. All right, so everything in the center is the same. Everything in these outsides, these are different. Okay, so these are all different. Everything over here in this little section is different. Put me on pause, get everything written down. All right, so now it's time for you to practice. So on Raz Kiss, there is a story, Raz Plus, there is a story called Ali and Ollie. And it talks about how these two dogs are like people. So if you have dogs in your own life, think about how dogs are, can be compared to people, how they're like people and how they are different from people. So what I want you to do is I want you to listen to the story on your own. Ali and Ollie, okay, and as you're listening, I want you to think about how these dogs are like people, how they're similar, and how they contrast, how they are different from people, and then when you finish listening to the story Ali and Ollie, you are going to complete a Venn diagram showing how dogs and people are different, and how dogs and people are alike, okay, so this circle will show us Characteristics of just dogs, okay? Just dogs. And this circle over here will show us characteristics of just people. Just people. So as you read, I want you in the center where it says alike. This is where you're going to write characteristics of dogs and people. How are they the same? Okay, alike. In this section, you're gonna write about how dogs are different. And then in this section under different and people, you're going to write about how people are different. Okay, so you can use your own experiences, what you read in the story, your background knowledge, what you might see on TV, what you might read in other books to complete this Venn diagram. And remember, when you complete a Venn diagram, it's helping you to organize important bits of information that's going to be able to help you remember the story and understand what's going on. Okay, so once you finish that activity, you can submit it to me. I can see if it's correct, if you're on the right track, and then we can move on. Okay, so thank you for coming and watching another lesson. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.